of the times in my life I've been almost sure about myself, <laughs> about what I wanted, about where I wanted to go, about what I wanted to do. And usually, not always, I would get a complete breaking down of what I thought I knew, of what I thought would work, what I thought I am. Can you imagine yourself living your life or experiencing life in complete emptiness or complete fullness? Not knowing, but just sensing not even sensing, but um, being one with it, being one with existence, embodying completely, fully. It's very difficult to talk about these things, but these last few years, I've had that experience more and more where there is a boundlessless boundary. So there is no boundary of experience or of myself. There's only complete stillness in the mind. Thinking can arise when it's needed. So whenever thinking is needed, it can arise. But besides that, there's just feeling, sensing, being aware, relating. Um, so there's like, there's like these layers that occur, these layers of shifting into identification with whatever is arising but then once that that's worked through it or that's not active anymore there's a complete like feeling of infinity um, it's it's interesting because trying to get a a high or a feeling of infinity through something you feel the onset of trying to get there the struggle the tension and then once you got it the countdown of it disappearing of it of losing it but when there's just this emptiness or this fullness, this full emptiness, this empty fullness inside of you or in your perception, your, your seeing, it's so complete Functioning as a person happens, but it doesn't feel like I am doing anything at all. It doesn't feel like I'm talking. It doesn't feel like I am facilitating a session. It doesn't feel like I am writing or I am doing anything. It's like it feels, if I still have the feeling or the memory of myself, that whoever I was, whatever I was, I'm just an instrument for the expression of consciousness. I'm just a channel or a vessel for love so that what I am is giving myself.
being myself entirely. Somehow, I notice there's a kind of maturing or ripening that, that, that is occurring. It is as if everything that's opening up, it's opening up at the exact moment when my nervous system, my psychology, my body is ready for it. And it's just exactly what I can handle. <laughs> without without causing panic with other people around me or without losing complete balance because there is a balance emotionally physically mentally it's there is a certain kind of balance that that's very very tricky and it's not about per perfect balance or being perfect but allowing everything to occur and when you allow everything to occur sometimes it balance is lost but then balance is gained and then it's just pure change but there's no fixation on the balance before like years two three years ago four years ago i would be so fixated on trying to have balance all the time on wanting to be productive, of wanting to be uh, efficient so that I can be successful like the people that I follow on YouTube or the people that I'm impressed by. every experience is ephemeral and every experience ends there's no reason to hold on to an experience because that is um, that is not allowing you to be yourself fully but to be fully yourself you're then open to all experiences. And I guess I'm at a phase right now where I'm just, I'm learning to be fully myself. I'm learning to be open to all experiences. Why do I say learning? Because it's like the body. The body has certain tendencies, certain ways of giving or taking, certain ways of relaxing or contracting. And the contractions are always in reaction to something, to some perception, to some belief, to something that is believed to, to be happening or have happened. I must say this is not at all what I expected from from this journey, from this path. I really thought I was just gonna be this guy who's then gonna just become be the same but embody love and wisdom and be be light and and, and caring and sharing. I thought that but the way I experience it now, the way the way it it is felt, it is sensed, it's like, I just am, and everything's happening, but it's not mine. I don't control it, I don't own it, I don't produce it, I don't take credit for it. It's all just happening, and I'm merely the... Um, the one that delights at everything occurring. The one that has compassion with everything occurring. The one that has uh, 
understanding, the one that, that sees the integration of it all, the one that uh, softens into it. There's still an identity. I still feel like I have an identity. But it's subtle, and it's like the boundary of my identity. It It's very loose. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just having one of those days where <laughs> the energy is really, 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 really giving me impulses to to sit and talk. But it's worth it. Um, being in the heart, opening up your heart, it's um, it's like you're giving yourself the gift of your own humanity, which is complete. And get to experience both the human aspect and the transcendental aspect and together when they merge it just feels like you are living love you're living love or love is living you and you are <laughs> you are You are just a possibility uh, if you open yourself to what love wants to do with you you're just a possibility <sighs> thank you